everybody. Welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And I have such a fun book today. And I picked it especially for today because today is a special day. You probably know what day it was because we did some special things in school and you probably heard mom and dad talking about a special animal. What is today? Do you remember? Yes, it's Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day is a fun day where we get to look at a little groundhog and we get to talk about the weather. Will there be more winter? Will there be an early spring? It's just a fun day, a day that we have fun with. And I really enjoyed today. And I found a book about Groundhog Day. And it's going to seem a little familiar to you because do you remember back around Christmas time, we read that book, Twas the Night of Christmas? And then at New Year's, we read a book, Twas the Night Before New Year's. Do you remember those books? Well, I found a book called The Night Before Groundhog Day. The Night Before Groundhog Day. This is a fun book. It's all about what families do at Groundhog Day, what kids at school do during Groundhog Day, and what the groundhog does at Groundhog Day. It's a good book, and just like all the others, I love the rhyme of this book. Now, this book was written by Amy, well, by Natasha Wings. She wrote all the words, and the pictures, they were drawn by Amy Wummer. And I love these pictures. I especially love the picture of this fun little groundhog. I love how chubby he is. We're going to learn a lot about him in this book and see how exciting Groundhog Day can be. I'm really anxious to get into this book. Are you ready to read about Groundhog Day? I hope so because it's time for you to sit up and listen up because here we go. It was the night before Groundhog Day and all through our town everyone was waiting for tomorrow's countdown. Because in the morning, when we all come together, a groundhog will wake and forecast the weather. Look, the calendar says February 2nd, just like today. If it's a bright and sunny day, his shadow he'll see. That means six more weeks of winter they'll be. But if it's cloudy and gray, his shadow won't appear. That's what I'm hoping for. It means spring will be here. At school we did crafts in our art classes. We made groundhog masks. Mine had a bow tie and glasses. We made pop-up puppets with flat sticks and cups. We learned baby groundhogs are called cubs, kits, or pups. We studied our climate plus the floor seasons. The weather changes for all kinds of reasons. At school, they learned about Groundhog Day, just like we did. Then we all voted on what news the groundhog would bring. Everyone but one boy said there'd be an early spring. Everybody wants it to be spring but the one boy. He still wants it to be winter. I like winter, said Paul. I'm crazy for snow. Not me, I told him. This cold weather has to go. I'm with her. I'm ready for spring. At home after dinner, we baked special cupcakes. I added on frosting and coconut flakes. We hung our wool hats on hooks with great care. We'll be ready to celebrate come foul weather or fair. That night I buried all snug in my bed while visions of groundhogs danced in my head. She's dreaming, dreaming all about Groundhog Day. It's early in the morning. At last, Groundhog Day is here. It's not sunny at all, but will the clouds stay? My family bundles up and heads to town square where a crowd's already gathering. There's music in the air. The band starts playing a Groundhog Day song. When it comes to the chorus, the crowd sings along. I look up to the sky. Oh no, the sun's coming out. Come black clouds, I beg with a shout. Excuse me, says a news reporter. What's your prediction? 
Spring, no winter, he reports. We have a contradiction. She wants spring, he wants winter. Grown-ups in top hats soon appear on the stage. The mayor reads a proclamation from a fancy scrolled page. Then we all begin counting backward from ten, waiting for the ground pog to pop out of his den. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The crowd loudly chants, wake up from your nap. The mayor waves her cane and gives the den a good tap. When what to our eyes should appear at last, but the official predictor to make his forecast. His eyes so sleepy, his cheeks so round, he finally comes out from under the ground. Does he see his shadow? The world wants to know. Will there be spring or six weeks of snow? Oh no, that was a really fun book. But we didn't find out what the groundhog did. Did he see his shadow? Did he not see his shadow? Are there going to be six more weeks of winter? Or is it going to be an early spring? The book didn't tell us. But we're going to have to find out. You need to ask mom and dad if the groundhog saw his shadow today. We need to know. But I loved this book. I loved this little groundhog. I loved how all the people went to see him. And how they were waking him up. And the countdown, when they counted down all the way from 10, all because they wanted to know what the groundhog thought about the weather. Kind of silly, but it's fun, and I enjoy it. I like Groundhog Day. I hope you've had a good Groundhog Day, and I hope you enjoyed this book. I really enjoyed reading it to you. But Groundhog Day is over, and it's time for you, little groundhog, to climb back into your hole or your bed and get ready for a good night's sleep. I'm sure the groundhog is sleeping. He had a really busy day. It's time for everybody to go to sleep. We can find out about the weather tomorrow. Whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. But we'll find out soon enough. But before we go to sleep, why don't we pray together? Why don't we thank God for the winter and the snow and the spring and the summer, all the fabulous seasons that God has given us. Will you pray with Miss Dorothy? All right, fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the weather. Thank you for making it snow sometimes and rain sometimes. Thank you for the sunshine and the springtime. And then we get to look forward to summer with our vacations and when it's nice and warm outside. Thank you that you made the world the way you did and that you made it perfect for us to live in. Now watch over us as we sleep. Be with all the people that we love. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, little groundhog, off to bed for you. We got a busy day tomorrow. We've got to go outside and see what the weather is like, but we won't be able to do that until we go to sleep and then wake up. So I want you to close those eyes, cuddle up under your covers, give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses, and whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And I'll be right here waiting for you with another book really, really soon at Goodnight Lighthouse. Bye.